everyone, welcome back to the E3 review. Today we're reviewing the Nintendo event that happened today. And yeah, what is a Nintendo event like and was it good? Let's check that out. First we're going to rate all the games that came out on that one. Let's do this. First off, it was some sci-fi game, forgot the name. But it gets a 7 out of 10 because it kind of looks like Zelda. Next is the Kirby game, which is 8 out of 10 because I love Kirby. Next, Metroid 4, which is a 8 out of 10 because everyone apparently wants Metroid to happen, so yeah. Next is um, Yoshi's Woolly World, 7 out of 10. I don't know, I might get it. Next is for Emiya, which is a 7 out of 10 because it also is like Zelda. Next is The Legend of Zelda DLC, which the first gets an 8 out of 10, the second gets a 7 out of 10, because this second one didn't make any sense. Next, this one we went over yesterday, Mario and Rabbids, 7 out of 10. Rocket League going to the Switch, 8 out of 10. And the highest rated on here, Mario Odyssey, 9 out of 10. I love the Mario games. I played Super Mario 3D Worlds. I played some other Super Mario game. I don't remember what it was called. I played Super Smash Brothers and... Three Mario, no, two Mario Kart games. So yeah. The one final one, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 Lego Worlds on the, uh, Lego Worlds on the Nintendo Switch. Lego Worlds is going to the Nintendo Switch, if you guys are excited for that. I'm excited, I mean, I have it on my Xbox. It'd be kinda cool to transport my Lego Worlds around, so I might get it. I don't know. Next... Let's go over some other things about that Nintendo announcement. So, I watched a lot of the Mario... Okay, wait, wait a minute. The Splatoon thing. I forgot. I didn't watch the Splatoon event. Splatoon would get a 10 out of 10, because I'm definitely going to get that one. But, the Splatoon event... The Splatoon 2 event, I missed it. Because, there was the Lego... Like, TT Travel Tour Games... Traveler Taylor... Tra TT Games event. So, yeah. I missed... That one, but I still have, um, wait, so I watched, DJ Wolf watched it, and he told me that it was just pros destroying each other. I'm gonna actually go find out what country won. I figured out it was the USA won, so yeah. Now let's talk about some games. First game to talk about is Mario and Rabbids. Where did this come from? Why, why Mario and Rabbids? Like, why Rabbids and why Mario come together in a game? Oh, the game looks... So the game has interesting battle mechanics. You don't use a joystick to walk around, which is pretty BS in my opinion, but... You basically just, like, can move to a certain area, just click one, and then you walk to that area. It's kind of one of the typical Mario games platforming, but then you get to do battles and everyone has blasters and yeah. Pretty cool. So did Nintendo do good in their events? I'd say yes. They did pretty good. The review wise, I didn't see last Ubisoft one was probably the worst because I didn't relate to it. The Xbox One X one kinda sucked, and then this one was pretty good. So this is the best by far. By far, Nintendo did the best for me at E3. So yeah, guys, did you think that the Nintendo event was good? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We're close to 150 subs. MGD Gaming out by Home Squad. Also, possible collab with Red Death. I am not sure.